Often in advertisements or on packaging of stun guns, you see manufacturers talk about volts or voltage. Going back a few decades, you would see these voltages measuring between a few thousand upwards to maybe even at 80,000. We know that the taser measures 50,000 volts and that's used by law enforcement globally. So chances are what's available to consumers is not going to exceed what's available to law enforcement, especially if it's being ran on a battery purchased at a drugstore or being charged by plugging it into your wall. The reality is though that volts don't even measure the strength of stun guns. These outrageous claims that you see on the internet as high as a billion volts? Come on guys, this is, this is not an accurate indicator and this has gotten out of control. So what actually measures the strength of stun guns is the charge they put out measured in microcoulombs. According to the National Institute of Justice, the NIJ, stun guns measuring 0.5 microcoulombs cause pain. Anything over 1.0% microcoulombs causes intolerable pain. So when looking for the best stun gun to protect yourself, your family members against an aggressive attacker, to give you the opportunity to escape that attacker, I strongly recommend you go with a stun gun exceeding 1.0 microcoulombs to provide the best protection possible. Thank you.